absolutely love doing collard greens with that smoked turkey meat in the Instant Pot because the Instant Pot will just break down the tough fibers and that tough turkey into something tender and delicious with some good pot liquor, y'all, okay? And the best part is that it's ready in only 35 minutes. So I'm gonna show you how I do my gumbo style collard greens in the Instant Pot. First, I'm going to prep my fresh collard greens. These are straight from my garden, so they are going to be nice, tender, and sweet. So I'm going to just take my fingers and pull out those stems. Then I'm going to stack them up, roll them together, and then begin to slice them into about an inch thickness. Don't make them too thin because when you pressure cook them, they're going to get quite tender. So you don't want the pieces to be very small. You should have some ribbons that look very similar to this. Next, I'm going going to prep one stalk of celery and just chop that into thin pieces and then dice one onion. I am going to be using this chicken and dewy sausage. Look, I know a lot of y'all don't play with the pork, okay? So if you don't do pork, this is a good and dewy sausage for you. I have to choose Cajun style because it just has those good spices, all right? I might be able to cut back on that pork, but I can't cut back on that butter. Okay, so we're going to put a tablespoon of butter in our skillet and then I'm going to saute these sausages for about a minute or two until they start to get a nice color. The reason why I am doing this on the stove instead of in the Instant Pot liner is because there's so many sausages and vegetables and whatnot. I just feel like I can saute them faster on the stove top, but feel free to do it in the Instant Pot on saute mode if you want. Now, I know y'all saw me add in that little bit of fat back, but you know, we just gonna ignore that and just pretend that's turkey fat, okay? Then I'm gonna put in my Cajun seasoning and I'm going to saute it for about a minute. I'm going to put in a fourth of a cup of a dry roux. I don't want to stand over the stove and just make the roux with oil. To me, just using a dry roux is easier. It's all it is. It's just some baked flour. I made it, but you can also buy it in the store. Into my Instant Pot, I'm going to add a piece of smoked turkey wing, but you can use turkey tail or smoked turkey drumstick, all the vegetables, some fresh thyme, and all of those collard greens. Pack them in, honey, pack them in. Don't even worry about the max line because they're all going to go down while you're pressure cooking. I am going to set this to pressure cook for 35 minutes and really since I was using garden greens I really could have did about 20 minutes but I wanted that smoked turkey to be falling off the bone so that's why I did a little bit of a longer pressure cooker time. However if you're using some really tough or really mature greens from the store I assure you, you're going to need the full 35 minutes. And look at how quick this is, okay? As opposed to just letting your collard greens simmer on the stove for two hours, my goodness, honey, it is already done. I'm going to balance out the flavors with a little bit of sugar and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And then you can just adjust any of the seasonings to your taste. You could eat this as a side dish or even a full meal if you add a little bit of cornbread and some rice. Honey, this is so delicious. Let me know if you are going to make this.